Report to you live here from Lighthouse Art Space for the F1 Exhibition Toronto. It's live from last week, episode 196. Let's go! Welcome, my fellow Jew Walkers, to another episode of Live from Last Week. Hope last week has served you well. Just a quick shameless plug before we go on. I want you guys to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. So starting off, do y'all remember this scene from a episode a couple months back? Seeing something that I wanted to get the little sister but just couldn't afford. Well guys, yesterday being the little sister's birthday, I gave her a secret package for her to open up at a later date when she was last here in Toronto, which had specific instructions for the surprise birthday gift that we gave to her. To Nika, happy birthday. Do not open until September 16, 2024. That is today's date. Wow. So cool. <laughs> Pause video. Look! It has cats and bubble tea and Aww. I love bubble tea! Sage, Aww. do you approve? Yeah! Thank you! Sage approve. Great! I'm hoping that you really enjoyed that birthday present we got you little sis. But moving on, on to today, where I thought I got a poor sleep in, but then was able to pass out for another couple of hours. This morning, I planned to pick up the in-laws from the recent trip to NYC, before I heard that their flight was cancelled. So, unfortunately this evening, unable to pick them up from the rebooked flight, as well as the wife coming home from her Asia trip to Pearson around the same time. In order to avoid being stressed in rush hour traffic, then heading straight downtown for my night shift tonight, I just stayed at the condo all day, pretty much just editing live from last week videos. Prior to heading in for my first in a set of two night shifts, with the hope that I'll be able to see the in-laws at least tomorrow after my night shift. So starting off today, I have a quick birthday shout out to one of my childhood friends who I used to play soccer with on the Keon Select team. This birthday shout out goes out to you Miller. Happy birthday, Aaron. I'm hoping that everybody has their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. But yeah, after another busy non-stop shift at the hospital last night, I found solace that even with the regular gas prices being around the mid-140s range this morning, the prices of gas have actually gone down to the 130s range in the past couple of weeks. And guys, another thing that got me in a good mood this morning was after not seeing this lady over the past couple of weeks after sending her off to the airport at Pearson, I was able to reunite here with the beautiful wife today at the Saga House. Anyways, after getting a post-night shift nap of about three hours this afternoon, then editing some live from last week videos on the laptop in between night shifts for a little bit, I'm gonna see if I can surprise the wife and the sister-in-law with the new upgrades for the Mini 2.0. So, did you notice anything new? No? no. What do you mean? <laughs> it's tinted. Really? Yeah. Oh, when I saw it, it was dark. Oh, like, was it? The, like, oh. the environment was dark. Oh, okay. It looks good. Oh, you got it tinted. Yeah, you wanna see? Go, go, have a look. Open it. Nice. Yeah. You can roll down the windows. Okay, go ahead. Now put it down. 
<laughs> do you feel do you feel famous? I'll show you the video after. You like your new coasters? Yeah. Hello kitty. <laughs> do you like the new There's a gas valve. <laughs> <laughs> On our commute downtown to work in another mini carpool 2.0 and going in for my second night shift in a row. After one of the busiest, most cortisol raising shifts that I've ever had, with falls, back issues, temperatures, desats, isolations, floods of emesis, patient movements, tachycardias, cultures, and the like. I found solace in finishing my night shift and getting out of the hospital around 8 a.m. Being able to return to being a part-time Uber driver for my coworker Tiffany. Before going with my new Pasalubong NASA hat that I got from my Tita G. To drive the wife to her physio appointment at the usual spot here in Scarborough. Then after going home to post night shift nap for just under Three hours today, I made my way downtown to the Madame Athletic Center for the Toronto Metropolitan University homecoming celebration, where I was able to catch a hockey game from the comfort of their lounge, enjoy a catered meal, which included some beef chili, these delicious chicken wings, as well as this cupcake, which you guys can see here, I graciously devoured. I also had the opportunity to meet some of the mascots that were roaming around the arena before realizing after attending this very fun event that the wife was probably gonna need some dinner. So I went to the Too Good To Go app to hunt for some food specials this evening, grabbing this takeout meal from a place that we have been to in the past, and Uber delivering this meal for the wife back at the condo. But yeah, before I try to go on to catch up on some lost sleep, and with the wife getting me this sick Pasalubong shirt from her trip in Asia that I can't wait to wear tomorrow, We'll just do a quick birthday shout out to one of my childhood friends who I admire for their great work with their project, Pass the Potatoes. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Andreas. Happy birthday, Andreas. And we've got a birthday greeting to one of the bridesmaids from a wedding who I feel like I haven't seen in the longest while. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Andrea. Happy birthday, Andrea. I'm hoping that everybody that has their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. Starting off, I have a quick birthday shout out to one of my university friends out there that I met back during our days at Ryerson. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Sandy. Happy birthday, Sandy. I'm hoping that at this time, you and your family are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and that you had a great celebration for your birthday this year. But yeah, one thing that I forgot to tell y'all about yesterday, recalling this surprise that I really worked hard on last week. When we got home, the wife had this surprise reaction to the gift that I made for her. Wow, thank you. You like it? Yeah, did you make that? And after staying up with her until 4.30 in the morning, uploading Live From Last Week episode 195, while watching the latest Jurassic Park film, I woke up at around 7 a.m. to drive the wife to a place that we were last at a while back, to her morning Pilates class at Motive. And so I decided while she was exercising here, to go to a place where I too could work out. But realizing instead of exercising with my brand new shirt on that the wife gave me yesterday, I spent time, of course, enjoying their patented 
massage chairs. Then, after picking up the wife and having her watch the latest Live From Last Week episode 195 while I was driving, I got news that one of my favorite baseball players that you guys know I've seen and watched live in person set a new MLB baseball record of having 50 home runs and 50 stolen bases in one single season. With this remarkable stat line of a game last night. But yeah, now on to this afternoon where I geared up wearing this former Facebook Marketplace purchase and that I last wore not too long ago. I got on the Baby Rouge to go for another Facebook Marketplace purchase buying these tile trackers that were listed nearby before heading downtown to the Lighthouse Art Space Toronto to check out the limited time only F1 exhibition. So firstly, today, singing a song that we try to do each and every year around this time, we will just sing this. Do you remember the 21st night of September? And on that note, we'll just do the birthday greetings of the day. Starting out with a quick birthday shout out to one of my YSIC friends who I remember from back in the day, who I'm proud of for starting up their own Airbnb company. This birthday shout out goes out to you Varga. Happy birthday Matt. And we've also got a birthday shout out to one of my family friends out there who I remember going to galas with during the times of the SMIOA. This birthday shout out goes out to you Vanessa. Happy birthday Vanessa. I'm hoping that everybody has their birthdays today are doing well staying safe and healthy at this time and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. So yeah, before we move on, recalling the Formula One exhibition that I was just at 24 hours ago, I coincidentally ran into a buddy of mine that I haven't seen in years. <laughs> guys, from my YSIC days, look who I ran into. Bernard. How are you guys? How are you? Wizonian, Wizonian, <laughs> old school. This guy, one of the best CAs. He's a community assistant, and I'm not just saying that. Now, he, this guy's a legend. Now, this guy's, a, this guy's a deal. Listen to him. Listen to him. <laughs> nice seeing you again. Uh, you too, right, man. man. You too. You too. Respect. I'll see Respect. you around, all right? Yeah. It was absolutely great running into you yesterday, Bernard. And I'm hoping that our paths will sometime soon in the future cross once again. And yeah, while we're on the topic of F1, after going to the Saga House to pass out last night, I woke up early to turn on the TV and catch this event that's halfway around the world while wearing my Formula One race suit that I wore all day yesterday at one of the most beautiful night courses on the F1 circuit at a location that we actually been to and visited in the past. Watching some of the qualifying for this Sunday's Formula One Singapore Grand Prix race. 
Then after saying bye-bye to the wife as she goes on to coordinate a wedding at the Sorella Farms. A place that we actually visited when we had the rental of that Tesla a couple weeks back. With this news of the gardener being closed pretty much all weekend due to construction. I got stuck in traffic with the motorcycle taking almost two hours to get home to the condo. But now for tonight, taking a good look at the Too Good To Go app to order something for dinner. I went back to the Tagbuan on Kennedy to do some takeout for a couple of orders. Then stopped by a local park to catch some cricket action here in the background. Then go back to the condo to check out what I ordered for the feast of the night. Patiently waiting for the wife to come home after she's done her wedding coordinating event. So quickly, I have a birthday greeting to one of my childhood friends that I've known since our Mother Teresa days, going back to Mrs. Clark's grade two class. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Sarah. Happy birthday, Sarah. I'm hoping that at this time, you and your family are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and that you had a great celebration for your birthday this year. But yeah, last night seeing the leaves on the local trees changing colors and catching yet another beautiful sunset to the west of the condo, I was only able to get a five hour sleep between 1.30 and 6.30 but was unable to record it as my watch band had suddenly broke off in the middle of my sleep. Anyways, turning this waking up early from a negative to a positive, I took the Baby Rouge and made my way to Woodbine Beach earlier this morning to play another September beach volleyball session at Ash Bridges. So after that great beach volleyball session that we had today, I went to meet up with the wife to go with her to Sunday afternoon Catholic Mass at the Canadian Martyrs Parish before going home to catch the race summary and highlights of the Formula One Singapore Grand Prix on TV. But yeah guys, this evening now, somehow getting a headache. I think I'm just gonna take it easy tonight and try to rest up in hopes that this headache will just go away. So starting off today, I have a quick birthday shout out to one of my childhood friends who I used to play house league soccer with when we were younger. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Nathan. Happy birthday, Nathan. We next got a birthday greeting to one of my friends that I made going back to our times working together at BVG. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Becky. Happy birthday, Becky. And last but not least, we got a birthday shout out to one of my former co-workers out there who you guys know is one of the biggest Canadian soccer fans that I know. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Ramez. Happy birthday, Ramez. I'm hoping that everybody has their birthdays today, are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays 
this year. So yeah, this morning, after finally getting a sleep record of almost six hours, thinking, how did I do this after breaking my watch band just yesterday? But actually remembering a while ago, buying a pack of replacement watch bands from Amazon, I turned my old broken wristband into this more sleek and sexy replacement band on my watch. Also, throwing back to another package with this reaction that I had today, thinking that I actually had time to install it, I actually got caught up with other things. But I'm very hopeful that next week's episode, I'll be able to install and try these babies out. But yeah, like I said, I'm running a little short on time, going in for one single night shift tonight, and therefore needing to wrap up this week's Live From Last Week episode right here. So if you guys have enjoyed what you've been watching, feel free to follow Jay Walker POV on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Be sure to like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notifications bell to be notified when new videos from Jaywalker POV come out. And once again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and healthy out there, and we'll see you next time on Live from Last Week.